everyone and welcome back to my channel so i thought that i would do a bit of a different video on my channel today and i thought it'd be nice just to do like a sit down chatty video um organize her wardrobe her clothes i've got so many clothes that need hanging up i've been trying to get like baby basically when she's born i ordered like loads of baby coat hangers for her wardrobe but then i ran out of them so i ordered the same ones they was just from amazon they sent me the wrong ones sent them back and then reordered them they sent the exact same ones again so i had to send them back then i went to denial and got some then ended up being a little bit like big but i have tried them they do fit the clothes on so that is that so and meanwhile like my mum's buying her loads of clothes i'm buying her clothes and like it's just like building up so yeah i got quite a lot of her clothes to put away today and then also I've got a massive box of stuff that just doesn't fit her anymore. Basically, I've kept a massive box and I've just basically been like just putting the clothes in and I've just, I'll sort that out, I'll sort that out another day, I'll sort it out another day. And that day is finally here because I'm going to sort through them. I want to keep some of the clothes um, just because you never know in the future if I have another little baby and if she's a girl that I'm going to keep some of them um, just because some of these she's barely worn to be honest so, like some things even some things in the wardrobe she might not have never worn um so yeah i am going to keep some of the rest i will um i'm just gonna like give away to charity um and obviously someone can get some use out of them that needs them so this is her changing unit behind um and her wardrobe match as well this is just from john lewis really nice quality i really love it um and these have just got like some of her like little like teddies and like bits of toys and stuff that i've bought her i was just about to get up but before i do i have got a little bit of like a baby clothing haul type thing so so my favorite baby shops are um tesco's clothing they're really nice i also love asda's as well um h&m and matalan the only thing i'd say with matalan is that um some of their like leggings can be a bit big so basically jayla is still in zero to three clothing um and i am transitioning well i will be transitioning in about a week or two probably um into like three to six so i'm going to try in some like baby grows and things um because some of hers her feet are like just nearly at the edge so when i when something's too small like i said i've just been putting it in this like box and now, now it's time to sort it out because no doubt i'll probably get a lot more in there soon but these are from matalan but look you might, you might not be able, be able to tell much on the camera but the waistband's quite large and she's just like not gonna like that will literally drop off her waist if i put her in them but then if you can see the leg it doesn't look too long so i feel like she might not even have a chance to wear this to be honest because it might end up being too short for her and then you know this will probably fit her then that'll be too short so you know but yeah so i've got i have got another set of these i think in baby pink somewhere but yeah so that's anything with matalan but other than that i do love their clothing I did pick up these from asda these are so lovely i absolutely love is it baby grow that is such if i could say one thing is i'd buy loads more zip baby grows they are they're just they're just so quick it's it's mainly like not so much in the day but in the night time when the when she wakes up for a feed it's so much easier to like just quickly zip it up rather than not have to do all the little buttons up and like we do have like a nice little like light so the room's not completely dark it's just it always has like a little bit of light to it but still for like if you take too long that's when she'll wake up so yeah i absolutely love a zip babe grow um so this is just like a five pack 18 pounds i think it was such a bargain that and like they feel really good quality as well they've also got the um mitts um to cover their hands um yeah so i've just got this one with like a little flower on this one as well which i think is really cute this one which i absolutely love it's got a little tortoise on little like dinosaur then we've got this one and then the last one is that one but yeah 18 pounds you get five and like i said they're all zips as well which is amazing then just moving on to some bits from tesco so this is the first set i picked up um, and this comes with like a little hat with like a bobble on um, and it's like a nice like knitted set which i think is really nice and then it comes with like ribbed leggings and it feels super soft 
yeah that's three to six so i will be um i have got to wash all these before she can obviously wear them but it's so funny because she fits in like basically all the zero to three like going out clothes or whatever you want to call them that's not a spa basically a baby grow um she fits in them not really well so that's a positive because i don't think i'll be getting rid of much of those for quite a while yet then next i picked up this mini mouse um jumper and legging set this one's really cute so it's just mini uh, it's just in that gold writing then it's got these like shiny um black glittery leggings on the back which i think is so beautiful and uh, she's just gonna look so cute in this i absolutely love a sweatshirt um at christmas she had like a little um like a reindeer um jumper and it was like, really fluffy and it was like a bit oversized with like, some red leggings <laughs> She looks so cute. Um, I absolutely loved it. But yeah, this is a really nice set. I also picked up this little t-shirt which just says happy on the smiley face. So that was just something nice just to like put on again as like a pair of leggings. Um, because I've actually got these like spotty leggings. <laughs> They're so small. But yeah, I've actually got these. So I feel like that would look quite cute with them. Next thing I picked up was this lovely stripy dress. Again, this is like feels like a really nice knitted material. I did wear it up to three months just because I felt like it looked quite wide. Um, and like I said, she's more of like a long baby. So this will still fit her for a good um, month or so. Then I picked up these baby girls. Now I'm obsessed with these. I absolutely love them. They're so gorgeous for like springtime. Um, and then you just get three. So you get a pink one. You get like a mint greeny blue one and then you also get a yellow one as well and she actually doesn't have a yellow baby grow or a mint green one actually so yeah and 11 pounds i was for a set of three um but yeah i just absolutely love them I think they're so beautiful um so yeah can't wait to see you with those and i thought that i'd just pick up some bibs as well because i get through so many bibs these actually say dribble proof lining so hopefully they are dribble proof because Lately, she's dripping so much. She loves like nibbling on her fingers. You try to give her a dummy. When she was little, like, well, littler, um, she had a dummy and she'd have it all the time. And now she's getting older. She just doesn't have a dummy. Like, no matter what, she just doesn't like one. She used to like one in the car as well. No. I went mad and bought like loads of different dummies and then she doesn't like them. So I've, got, I've just got loads of dummies lying around. But yeah. Yeah, this one's got a bunny on. I thought it was cute. Then we've got a stripy one and then we've just got ones with bunnies on the back which is really cute. And then I also picked up this baby rinser. So I saw one of these on John Lewis um, but then when I went into Tesco they had one. And it does say for six months plus but I've mainly bought this for her hair so it's so hard to wash her hair because it's just so long like her hair's probably like that long now and i can actually put it in like a little bow and obviously considering she's only 15 weeks obviously she has got very long hair so this is going to be perfect so i can just scoot the water up and then obviously put my hand there and just do that um and i can wash all the soap out of it um shampoo don't know what i call this soap i can wash all the shampoo out of her hair i feel like i've got hair there really irritating me i thought i'd pick that up i think this was only like five pounds maybe but yeah it's, um it's gonna come in really handy when it's bath time so this is just her wardrobe currently so i leave like the towels up there her um sleep bags and blankets she's got loads of blankets again i think because i love a blanket i keep buying her blankets i'm just obsessed with it that's a changing bag in there which I don't use it. Came with the pram from Mums and Poppers that I bought. And um, well, my dad and my um, nan and granddad actually bought it for me, so I was really grateful for that. Um, but I'd already bought a changing bag and it's a lot bigger, so I don't actually use that. So I've just stored it in there. I don't know what to do with it, to be honest. Um, so these are all her clothes. So this is all zero to three. Then we go into three to six here. I have got so many, like I said, I've got so many clothes for her. Um, because then down the bottom we then go into like these are all like her puffer coats and things but they're three to six then we've got some six to nine and then we've got some nine to twelve as well um this is really cute this was actually from tesco um that's from primark actually i forgot to mention primark they did some really lovely bits as well then we've just got like socks in here 
mittens, tights at the back, all her hats. So I absolutely love like buying her little hats and things. Um, so all hats there. Then these have just got like some of her shoes in and things. And then they're just her little pair of like Nike trainers that I picked up. So that's her wardrobe so i need to add logs i need to add so many clothes to it and then just on her changing unit here so these are all these are some of her like little cuddly toys so that's a little care bear do you else love care bears because i used to be obsessed with them um this is from the little white company and um, this is her bear that we got when we went for a scan and um, it's got the heartbeat um in it as well which is lovely uh, might have to put that away somewhere when she can start grabbing things like properly when she's a bit older because like i don't really want to wear it out because i want to hear it forever um this is like from h&m and my brother brought that this is like this little um cute like little chicken thing i thought it was like, really nice and then she's got a little lamb a little bear she's got more stuff in her bags down there as well like um that you could see earlier but yeah, these are the drawers. They're really, really nice. I'm really happy with them. This as well, this is really nice. It plays like music. Um, and then like this lights up as well, which is mainly what I use it for. So as you can see, I really need to sort this out. Does anyone else at least once a week have to sort out their baby's clothes? Because yes, I do all the time. So these are like all her baby girls basically and um, it's quite messy because sometimes i can change it like three times a day so when i change her i literally like scramble through i'm like which one should i put her in today so that's why it's a bit messy so i'm gonna tidy that up as well and then just got some little sets here h&m that was from matalan um h&m again asda these are like little um bambi pajamas so yeah that's those then in this one, again, this is her like three to six, three to six, um, bibs, uh, muslin cloths. And these are the Amazon carpet hangers and these are the Denelm carpet hangers. So as you can see, there is like quite a big difference, but these still work as well, especially for like some of the clothes that I've got for when, like, when she's a bit older. So yeah, like I said, I'm just going to go through now, start hanging all this stuff up. Um, and getting it put away it's been proper missions trying to get these coat angers so i'm really glad that i found these these are the big coat angers and they do hold up pretty well i know they might look a bit odd in the wardrobe because they did want like all the same but you know it doesn't matter because they still work just as well um and i've I really struggled to find that like, baby coat angers from places i really do so yeah this is just from river island and this is from matalan um so yeah these are just all zero to three what i'm gonna hang up first and then i'll move on to the three to six part and i think i might have like a six to nine or something whilst because like i don't know about you but like all my family like bought like loads of different range of sizes of things like because she's as you can see she's got so much this big box in front of me that she's got it's like it's just so crazy and like i said it's funny because when like i ever go out shopping or whatever i always have to buy her something i really do i can never just like be satisfied and be like oh no she's got too much stuff she doesn't need anything else it's like oh no she she needs something else so i love this little one it's a little um dinosaur set it's actually from primark because they did a like um a dinosaur collection so that was really cute yeah, I don't know if this video was going to be interesting for anyone, but just thought I'd do like a little bit of like a chatty um, video and like to talk about like being a mom and things like that because it has been such like, I don't know, it's been such a journey so far, like um, having Jayla, she's just the most perfect angel in the whole world, honestly. I, do you ever just think like you didn't know what your life was before, before like you became a mom because like for me, I that's a three to six. I put that over there. They have got this little set, but I don't know if that might still fit it to be fair. So I might keep those, but I think I'll put them in the drawer rather than hang them up. Yeah, it's so funny because I do actually sometimes think like, what was life like before I became a mom? And like, <laughs> what did you do and stuff? And like, it's only been like fifteen weeks, but then weeks have just flown by, and like it's funny because i still 
I still remember like giving birth and things and I was actually watching Molly May's um birth story the other day and it was so lovely and it just brought back like so much this is cute as well this it was like a Christmas one but she still wears it now and I think it's just so beautiful this is up to a month you can see how like it's quite big isn't it so it still fits her but yeah it's funny because i remember like going in hospital to like give birth and it like it kind of just happened so quick for me um and i remember she said that she filmed it and i really wanted to kind of like film it just like just for personal like just to watch it back and things but i just feel like because it happened so fast do you know what i had those there they are because I had these leggings, I don't know where they went. It just felt like personal to watch it because it happened just so fast. And that, like, I just went, I kind of just went into labour and I was getting these pains, and that was it. Then it was like, yeah, well, it's, you know, you're really far gone. Like, we need, you know, you need to start pushing. But it was weird because I already had the urge to push anyway, which I did say to them. But I think the big thing is for me is like having the adjustment to being a mum. Like, you forget that you don't forget but like obviously before you have a baby like you just get up and go like you can you can go out wherever you want you can do what you want and you never have to like really think about anything but obviously now like for example Christmas was such a funny time for me so at Christmas I we didn't have it here I always go to like family's house so I go to like mum's and then I um go to my nans and then I go to my other nans and I, I like to see all my family on Christmas and um, also this is a little pretty dress I think this is so beautiful I literally took a massive I, to be honest I should have just took a suitcase but I took like a massive hold all like type bag that I had Um, I actually took that with me when I went to give birth as well and it holds so much stuff in I had it from everyone like years ago Um, and yes yeah, so I took that with me and it's so funny I took like eight bottles that was a change of clothes I bring up that much milk but she does bring up like a lot of milk i'd say the doctor did say she had reflux and then one doctor said reflux the other said that she had um colic which she definitely did have colic and it's um settling down now so if you are watching this and you know you're really struggling because your baby's got colic i mean I, I, it was funny because like at the time it was like she'd be crying like when she was first born maybe like the first two or three weeks I could take her out, I could go to like family's house with her, they'd see her and the whole time people would have her in her arms, she'd be like fast asleep and then next thing you know, all of a sudden she just she just kept crying all the time and, and I did think it was quite strange but I never really thought about it and then I read online that she had colic and I thought oh does she, I don't know um, and then when I really looked into it and then I spoke to the doctors and things, they was like, oh yeah, she she has got colic and, and that. So, um, but it does definitely get better. Like she does have times there where she might have like a, a crying match and she's just had a second lot of jabs as well. Um, you know, and she's like crying for ages and stuff, but it does, it, it definitely gets better. Cause when you're in that, in that time frame when people are saying to you, it'll get better, it'll get better. You just, you never think it's ever going to get better. You think is this how it's gonna be i've got my fiance i've got my, my family and stuff everyone's like really good with that um but yeah i did struggle at the start with all like, the crying because it's just like i don't know it was really weird how she went from like just being like this really quiet sleepy little baby to um like crying quite a lot um but now she's like i said you know she's like so much better she's like such a different baby she sleeps so well she she probably gets up like maximum is twice a night some nights it might just be once once a night so yeah she rarely really gets up in the night and she goes back to sleep straight away like i'll literally be there feeding her like change her and um, feed her and then as i'm feeding i just rock her back to sleep and she goes straight back to sleep funny as well with her room because she's not in it much and i basically bought um a next to me crib and personally for me i wouldn't i wouldn't buy another one just because she hates it she hates it she'll literally sleep in it for like 20 minutes and she'll wake up like crying um because obviously like her nap's been disturbed and like she'll just wake up crying from it so i've got this like yes yeah, so, like i've got an next to my crib um i've got a moses basket which is in which is about to grow out of um she's like you know like i said the next like 
couple of weeks i feel like and look she's maybe had a growth spurt or whatever she won't fit in that so so yeah so i need to get her used to a cot so the cot's going to go into our bedroom um the crib i'm going to get rid of the crib because I don't really want to keep for one I've got no to store it anyway and for two I don't really want to keep it because even if I have another baby I probably wouldn't buy one of those I would buy next to my crib but I wouldn't buy the one that I bought you can buy like mattress tops and things but I thought you know what, what's the point she's nearly four months um she's got a cot so I might as well just use use a cot so this is a really cute little dress that my mum actually bought it comes with like a little um cardigan and a little um hat this is another little set as well which i think is so cute i actually bought these before i knew i was having a girl so i bought like all neutral clothes um and i can't see her in that either i think it's so beautiful but yeah, i am just going to finish popping these few away and then i'll pop them in a wardrobe and then i've just got to move on to the big box wait till you see the box it's huge and it's just full of clothes that just no longer fits her which makes me really sad that she's like grown out of her clothes. So and the last thing that I've got to do is sort this big box out. And like I said, this is the box with all of her clothing that no longer fits her anymore and this is where i've just been storing it because i don't know I, honestly i didn't know where, else, where to put it and look at this box <laughs> it's huge like so i've got this left to sort out but then i've also just got to um tidy up her drawers a little bit and everything as well um and then put all that stuff in her washing basket so i can wash that for when she's ready to wear three to six but what i would say to someone that is like buying like it's having a baby not buying clothes honestly just don't it's so hard but just not to go overboard i mean like her wardrobe's just full of clothes it's crazy honestly i mean <laughs> i've got no words how much clothes she's actually got and the fact that i'll, I'll, I'll say that but i end up just buying her some more anyway so um but yeah stuff like this it's just like this is like a newborn one but it was from Matalan, and like I said, Matalan's clothing are more or not the large side, I, th I thought, anyway. So that's from Matalan, so that's a cute one. Then I've got these little body suits as well, um, and these are up to one month, which I think they look quite big still. Um, and to be honest, this probably would fit out, it's just that I feel like to give that extra room, I'll put her in zero to three. But these are up to a month. Um, and by the way, she's the last time I had a wage, which was Christmas, she was like nine pound eleven. So I'm guessing she's gonna be like she's way over ten pounds. It wouldn't surprise me if she's about twelve pounds to be honest. Um because like her milk's gone up a lot more as well. This one she hasn't really had that long, but it's so funny because I bought this and then I bought it in is this newborn? Yeah, I bought a newborn and then I also bought it in a zero to three just because i knew that i really liked it and that oh, i knew she wouldn't last probably like last long in like wearing it so i ended up buying it in like um the other size as well um but yeah that's a cute one then i've got this really cute one i don't know why i put this one in what size is it this is actually zero to three but i think because it's winter and if, as you can see it's like it's more of like it looks more like a vest to be honest um and i just felt like it's just that it's not really going to be that practical for like the cold weather so that's why i got rid of that one uh, this little red dress i absolutely loved it was meant to be like for christmas time but then she ended up wearing like a disney dress oh my god that dress was stunning if you uh, go onto my instagram you'd be able to see it i'll never get rid of that dress i'm obsessed with it i absolutely love it it's just so gorgeous um and yeah oh yeah i'll never get rid of that then she's got this one which was her first um i think it was her first newborn piece of clothing that she had and my mum actually bought this for, for her because again i didn't know what at the time if i was having a boy or a girl so we just got white and um, but it is newborn um and i'll probably will keep this one to be honest because it is her first one that my mum picked up for her 
then I've got some little hats which these to me like you do get a lot of outfits that come with these hats but to be honest I feel like they're really pointless because I never use I've, I've never like used I used them in the hospital and then since quite the hospital I never used them and I think these are probably her size now mm. yeah they're up to three months these are but I will be getting rid of those um and giving them to charity then this is a little Christmas baby grow again um that was really cute but i will be giving that away as well and this is her little um halloween stuff so she was actually born on halloween so and obviously i was like rushing around to like buy things when i came out of hospital because i didn't expect it to be so tiny and my mom picked these up because obviously she's our little halloween baby a little pumpkin um and yeah so we put those up they're so cute um yeah there is actually a few of these there's this one as well which i really liked and there was i think there was one more no doubt i'll find it um if i'm looking through here but yeah that was just so cute I, you know what i can't believe she was born on halloween um uh, it's and like i said in my uh, birth story it's so funny because honestly none of my family's like ever been born like a day or like like a special day it's funny because everyone goes oh you'll be good uh, you'll be sorted for like a first birthday but i'm like just because she was born on halloween i don't think i'll probably like do her halloween party um obviously it just all depends what she wants but i don't know if i'll do a halloween party it's not for her first birthday anyway it's probably going to be more like I don't know, I kind of like a safari theme or maybe like princesses, but we'll see. That's quite a long way off yet, but sometimes I do think about it, like how cute it's going to be. And yeah, I've just found that one. It says too cute to spook, which I really like. So I probably will keep those though, to be honest, because they just remind me of the she was born Halloween, so... Something else I really loved her in as well was this sort of stripy one. I don't know what it was, but she just looks so cute in it. And I can't believe how small that is. Like, if you compare that to a baby girl that she wears now, I mean, just look how tiny it is. This one was up to a month. Is it up to a month? It says weight 10 pounds, but again, that is quite small. And she was only like £5.13 and it was too big for her then. And now it's like way too small for us so and look at this one how small it is oh i remember her wearing this again it was i couldn't believe how big clothes was when she was born like, honestly i can't believe how big she's grown yeah she makes me feel like crying to be honest because honestly it's crazy i just love her so much when i look at her i'm just like oh, she's so cute yeah that is everything sorted out and yeah like i said just need to organize her cupboards well her drawers and just fold some stuff up put them back in order and things because like i said honestly when it comes to me picking out a babe grow or something for her i literally just end up just rummaging through because i'm like oh which one should i put her in and then like i'm like, looking through all of them just to see which one she's gonna like like wear that day and like i said i can go through like two three um baby girls a day but like i said that is everything organized in her room apart from just folding stuff up i'm going to pop these in a charity bag and hopefully someone will get some nice use out of them and yeah i think that's everything then uh, i really hope you enjoyed the video i feel like it might have been like rambling or like well i might have rambled on it might not even be that interesting for you to watch but it's there anyway it, um if anyone wants to watch it also if anyone knows where i can get some really cute storage bits from because i basically bought these baskets to store toys in but i do want to get something like nice for a room that's like for toys and things i know i kid them like um white drawers and then you put like the inserts in like the canvas like basket things so they do look really good so i was thinking of getting one of those she's got her bookshelf in here and then obviously her cot's gone back in our room when um i'll transition into that but yeah that is everything i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't get to thumbs up don't get to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you all in my next one bye